welcome to my faction guide. This is my second one, and here we are in Rudel. I think it's well, also the Easterlings is what they called it in their suggestion. So I think this is called Rune in the actual Hobbit and movies. If you look here, it's here. So it's, it takes a long time to get to. I advise not going straight there because it's really difficult to get to. It'll take you a couple of hours. So you want to take maybe this road and go up here or this road and go down here. Just have a bit of interestingness whilst you're there. So this is one of their major cities. I'll show you where the place you find next. So these places are huge. Look at this, this is bigger than any Minecraft structure. Yeah. Well, actually, you could get some end cities this size, and also maybe the stronghold. But the amount of blocks is ridiculous. So if you look at this, is the centre of it. This is only in creative, so you won't be able to see this in three and survival. This could have this big sort of thing, or it could have two statues. These are the big houses, these are the ones you want, you're going to want to loot. They have all of the good loot on them, but they're all in the crafting frames. And then you've got this upstairs. See, I really like Rune. It's one of the first campaigns I played. Well, not, it's not really a campaign, but I chose to be Rune, and it was really fun. It's just because it's so different compared to every other faction in the game. Oh, look at this, this has its own. Having statues, is the, to say the least. See, these houses will also have stuff in, but it's less likely to be good. So if you look here, yeah, it, it's just not the same. So, I will go and show you the villages and the hiring. So welcome back. This is where you can hire troops. If you look here, these statues are massive of the soldiers you can hire. They're really cool statues. Whoever made them deserves a lot of credit. See now, if you look in these towers, they just look like guard towers, but you have stuff in. So you're going to want to look in here, look at these chests. They're not amazing, but you know, a chest is a chest. Yeah, there's lots of guys in here. So if we get out here, you can see the main fault in the middle. This, you also get two stables. Yeah, one there, one there. So you can get a proper good horse if you really try all 12 out. We go here. So this is the main fort. This is pretty similar to most other forts. But it has this guy in. This guy you can hire from. So if you look here, this is pretty trash. He's okay, but he's a bit average. Yet again, just an archer. So these are the guys which you're going to want to hire. This one's not great because it's only got a poison dagger, but you can get better ones. Yeah, again, not great. Some of the best cav in the game, though, you guys. See, it? these guys are the special unit everyone has. They will throw fire in those sort of bomb things. So that's one of the reasons why you should choose Rune, because of that really cool thing. Yeah, just the normal banner bearer. So, if you looked, if you saw over here, there's also the village. These you will find much more common. Mainly because they're not as great. Usually they'll have a blacksmith here. So you can get some good loot on the walls on here. These trades are okay, but they're not incredible. That's quite good. And you'll get these houses. These houses have lots of like a wine in, which is how you can build that up. And this is the good house you can get good stuff from. And the other side is the brewery. So if you look in. This one is called Horned Goblin. See, each of them have a unique name. 
don't know why I did that. But you'll look up here and there's lots of different, there's two rooms. In some other ones you can get lots of different rooms. So Rune has the landscape of sort of, I would say sort of like Spain or Italy. They've got lots of balls, lots of rabbits and lots of um, deer. So they're generally all round good place to start. Also, if you're aligned with Rune, you'll be able to trade with these guys. You can get some pretty good stuff and sell a lot, which is how I made most of my money in my campaign. So, thanks for watching this one. Uh, the Gondor one should be coming out soon if you want to keep an eye out for that. So, see you next time.